Hi, this is Jane from the SC4 library. I'm going to use one search on the library homepage to show you how to find information for your cultural assessment assignment. You can also use one search to find uh, scholarly research articles on medical topics, but for this example, I'm using your cultural assessment assignment. So let's say you're searching for Buddhism and end of life care for Buddhists. So we can put in our term Buddhism. And you can see I practiced beforehand. I'm going to use and, the Boolean operator and, to narrow down my search. And then I have the term either end of life or terminal care. And I put these in parentheses so it does that part of the search first and then ends it with my Buddhism. Click on find it. We found over 2,000 results. It's sorting them by relevance, but we could sort by date or what would be better, use the scroll bar for publication date, like especially if you're doing uh, research on a medical topic. But for your cultural assessment assignment, sometimes that last five years, you know, finding something in the last five years is not as important. So I'm want to scroll down and choose one to show you and I like this one promoting peaceful death for Thai Buddhist implications for holistic end-of-life care it's out of the journal holistic nursing practice if I click on the title it goes to the database that has the full text in it it's called Ovid is the name of the database and then we pull up the full text of the article in an HTML format. Sometimes looking at the article in a PDF format is better. I'm going to click on PDF because it looks just like the original print article. And you can easily download it to whatever device you're using, like your smartphone even, or tablet, laptop, so you don't have to bother printing it off. Avid is a great database because it also shows you how to cite the article so we can just click on CITE site and there is our APA citation. It's not formatted with the hanging indent correctly but we can do that later in a Word document but you can just triple click on it or click copy. Copy it and paste it into your references page. Some databases, especially some of the medical databases, don't provide the citation information. So you can always go back to your result list here, click over on the quotation marks, and one search will show you how to cite in APA format. There's your APA citation. So click three times on it, copy it, and paste it into your references page. If you wanted to look, for example, for books, on the topic because we might have some ebooks on cultural assessment. We can narrow down to books or ebooks right here. Uh, right now, the print books may not be accessible to you because of COVID 19. So if you just wanted ebooks, you could click on this full text online and it would narrow your search to ebooks. I'm going to choose this fourth one, again, Religious Understandings of a Good Death in Hospice. Click on it. It goes to some more information about the book. It tells us we have unlimited access, so all of you could download the book at once if you wanted to, and to do that, you could click here. Most often, though, you want to just read the book online to take notes or gather your information. So sometimes it's best we look through the table of contents to see if there's a chapter on Buddhism. There is not. So I can go to read online. And then I can type in my term here to search the entire book for that term. We have 56 results. The little scroll bar here tells me where it's mentioned most often. So I'm going to go right to that section. And it goes right to the pages where the term Buddhism is mentioned. So I, if I click on one, it goes right to that page. 
gives me the information right there, which you could take notes on. Uh, remember, you have to cite the information. And to cite it in the ProQuest eBooks, you just click on that little quotation mark again. It will bring up the MLA citation, so be sure to change it to APA. Triple click on it, copy it, and paste it. Thank you, and please contact us if you need help.